Hi, it's Jill with Cripwex, and happy Saturday. I think it's Saturday. Pretty sure it's Saturday. Um, I'm finishing up a project I'm working on, which is a, a Bam Bam theme, but it's personalized where it is actually a picture of the birthday boy. So this is, I've got all of them printed out in glitter pretty much. Um, no, not pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm going to add a couple extras, but there's something I have not done before. So I thought it would be a good time to show you something different. And I forgot I was going to do that. But I, didn't get it. I, didn't. <laughs> I didn't get out my heat gun. Actually, guys, this is not my heat gun. This is my husband's heat, heat gun for his office that um, I'm using because I loaned mine to my daughter-in-law. Now I have to unplug something here, I think. So put it into my, I don't know what some of this is, but I'm gonna unplug it and hope it wasn't the computer. Yeah, it was the computer. <laughs> oh no, it isn't. Okay. I don't know what it was. So I'm not going to tell you about this, too much about this heat gun because it's not one I would use. Um, anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is, he's got a little brown leather strap across his chest and I'm going to take some pleather strips and glue it along that. Now, I already did one and I did the bone. There was no bone here. Nope, there wasn't a bone here, but there was on the other one. And I wanted one here too, so I put my bone on myself using liquid pearls. However, I did it before I put the strap on, and now I'm going to have to redo it on top of it because uh, I'm going to have to go right over it. So, heat gun, hot gun, hot glue gun. And he has a necklace on, so I'm going to show you, too, what I had to do with the necklace. Because, again, that was on top of this strip. And I am not going to cut around it. And this is a little bit on a curve, so I have to kind of uh, do a little a little bit of, of gluing at a time so I can get the, the leather, pleather whatever to lay flat. Um, this is one that I would not use tape on because I don't know if it would hold it well enough because I'm kind of going against its, its uh, I would say it's green. This is not where it would be going to if it had its choice. How come it didn't stick there? Doggone it. Don't be giving me a hard time now. Okay, we're gonna try this again. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna turn around from the back and cut it off. I cut it off a little bit in so I have my white offset still on it. There we have the wood piece. Now what I'm gonna do is take a bit of my pearls I'm going to use my Novo liquid pearls. And I'm going to redo over here the bone that is coming off of his cape. Now, it, the bone kind of goes in and out. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a little thing that looks almost like a quote mark because that piece is not going to have any bone on it and then I'm going to fill it in on these there's a picture of the bone that I can follow on the other ones I did um, there was no picture but drawing it out does not take the uh, does not take an expert to do it pretty easy to do. One of those things I even think my granddaughter could do. 
I just, I just um, didn't notice that I did this without it ha having been done. Uh, what I want to say, not no, not forgetting that I had to put the band on first, and so I'm trying to get a step ahead of myself with things that require lengthy drying times, and these new ball kind of like the the embellishments glitters anything that anything that you have it has to have a period of time to dry so now what i'm going to do here i over glittered on this one because i didn't want to make that much glitter on on this big stone i wanted to do a technique he's got all his glitter on and on some of the contour lines of his clothes what i've been using is my liquid pearls the nouveau the nouveau pearls i really i'm trying to incorporate them more because i do like them but this what i'm going to be doing now is something totally different it is called gold leaf um i had gone to an art fair in our columbia or in our kit oh my word in our <laughs> coliseum and I thought they were showing art things, but it wasn't. It was, uh, it was actually art supplies. Um, not a good place for me to go uh, unless I'm going with empty-handed, no money in my purse. Um, I, I was very good and didn't overdo it, but it's, I could have. I could have done a lot of damage. Now, this here is a, it's a sticky um, like a, an embell like the accent essentials. I'm it's a powder though. So what I'm going to do is this stone has a lot of colors, shimmers, and and kind of when you look at a rock core, you can see some of the stones look like they almost like metals in them. And I think this one actually is this stone I think is actually some metal so what I'm going to do is make a mess yeah now this I probably have too much on here so I'm just going to kind of this I do not need on the brown I'm not going to do any on the brown so let me get up here when you blow when you heat when you heat dry this particular um it's it's not it's like an embossing powder however it is not to emboss it dries sticky so it's for you to put material particularly this gold leaf down because this will dry clear and sticky so when I put that down I'm gonna have to grab a brush here to get some of this off I've got a little too much and I don't want it on his bat so I'm gonna take my little brush here and get it off and I don't care what the, the pattern when I lay it down that I'm going to dry it on I don't really care if it's the same on all of them nor do I care if it's uh, what's the word I want to use um, it doesn't matter where it's at on it I just put it wherever I want now I'm going to turn my heat gun on and this thing is hotter than I can't even tell you how hot it gets. And it's probably, I would not recommend if, if anybody were to have one ha, um, in there. I would not re recommend anybody to use it. It's, um, it gets really hot. And <clears throat> I, you don't want it to blow because, I, and this blows a little bit. I have to hold it really high. And what the heck? What the heck? I don't know if all this is blowing, if any of it's melting. And I got it on low style, and I know it works because I just used it. But it seems to be blowing it off. Let me see if it's because I'm hot, I have it too close. I have to have it close enough for it to get hot and melt. This has to melt, and it will melt transparent. 
And as soon as I see it start to do that, Again, if I were using my normal heat gun that is made for this, it wouldn't have as much. It would just be hot air. This is blowing. And I'm not liking that. Because I already did one and I know it works. You can't have... Okay, that's okay if it blows apart like that. There we go. There we go. Now it's all lumpy, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Let me see if I put all of this back on there. That blew off. Guys, I'm telling you, it really, it, it really is an easy thing to do. But this just shows you that um, you really have to have the right tools. I still get a lot of, of people asking, you know, can you tell me exactly, exactly what I need to, to do this? Well... Anybody that does this knows that's a that's a really open-ended question because if if you're planning on just doing it because you want to do your child's upcoming birthday party, uh, it would take way too much time for you to even grasp at the the all that you would need and and. Um, how to do to do everything, guys? This blew everywhere. Oh my word! It's like a hundred degrees outside today. Um, my daughter and son-in-law had uh, their neighbor friends over um, last night for a cookout and and swimming with the little ones, and it was like seven o'clock at night. And I didn't, I, I haven't heated the pool for days because it's been so hot. It's not been necessary. So I didn't pay any attention to whether or not that water was warm yesterday when they went. But when I went and looked at the temperature outside, it was at 78 degrees or 87 degrees. So I came to the conclusion that there was no way that pool was going to be cool. It was going to be warm and it was. They said it was like drinking or swimming in bath water. You guys see what I just did? You know what? I may have to just, um, oh my gosh, and it stuck to my legs. And I don't know where I did my, when with my wipes. This stuff, here it is. I touched my finger in the, in the little bit of the bone. So I smudged it on the leather ticks me off when I do that. This isn't going to get it off either. I'm going to get everything ruined. Well, guys, it's one of my days that you get to actually watch me how I would work if I was not filming. Because normally, and my recommendation for anybody, be ready when you're filming. Don't do like me. This is, you're getting to see the raw how this whole process goes and you happen to pick or, or not pick you didn't pick anything I happen to be giving you a treat today because nothing's working out for me and I don't want all of that stuff on my stuff on his leather okay now I shoveled more of that on and I'm hoping that it's sticking already to and you can't tell but I don't think it is it's all over him now isn't this fun guys are you having fun yet I think it's a freaking nightmare the stuff that I'm pushing it back onto is is already sticky so I don't know why it's not sticking to it we're gonna soon find out I'm gonna give it one last shot how did I do it the other night? It didn't stick or anything. It worked perfect. What the heck? Just put it in the plastic bag there and melted that. There we go. That was cool. I want my gun back. I gotta tell my daughter in law, I gotta get my heat gun back. Because I wanna start doing, believe it or not, 
some scrapbooking. I really am chomping at the bit to do some scrapbook. I just threw my shopping cart tons of files that I want to get and just do random pages. I don't even care if I have pictures, guys. I just want to do some scrapbooking. I'm getting um, burnout of doing, not, I don't know if burnout, but I seem like I, it's the same thing over and over and over again. I need something different. So, don't want that, any of that on him. Now, I'm going to take the gold leaf. This is all sticky where I put the powder that blew everywhere. So we're going to see how this is going to turn out because it's not going to go where I thought it was. And this stuff is a pain in the butt to work with. Um, it has a lot of static cling and you cannot separate the colors. It comes in a bag with silver, gold, copper, um, this this one here, the main clump is right where you open the bag and I want some of this silver and copper over here. So I'm going to sacrifice my bag here and push some of that out. You can't hold this. Well, you can with the tweezers if you if you need to, but it's it's really soft and it's kind of like a tin foil, but a thousand times thinner because even when I talk it's blowing everywhere but once I get it on top of that sticky stuff that I just had such a horrible time doing now I'm gonna just take my finger see how um, I just threw it on there but like I said that powder that I put on there is sticky and all you have to do with this is rub it on. So I'm going to pat that down because I'm not really sure where all the sticky is. And then when I pat it down, I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to really pat it down. Um, I really like the difference that it gives the stone because these the stone on this particular pattern reminds me of a stone I'd see at a rock quarry, uh, quarry or a, I didn't think where else but the, and they're always really shimmery and I want to just make sure that I'm, I'm where they're sticky because it will come off if there's not any sticky below it like right there it doesn't have the sticky the way I intended it to because it all blew off. I'm trying to think, how could I do that where it wouldn't blow off? Maybe if I put a piece of uh, tin foil over it. Because none of this should come off. If, if it had gone, been where I had put it, none of this would be coming off. And I... I just did it. The first one I did is right here. And I, I didn't have that problem. I'm going to cry. Why do I have those problems now? Why is that happening now? Anyway, got it done. In person, you can see better. It just gives that rock, that stone, some shine. And I like that. And I don't want it there. So I will use that one. I don't want it on the bat. So, there we go, little guy. And I got to be careful with him because I almost ruined his bone in his. Oh, I know what I forgot. Um, he has a necklace on and the necklace is hanging on top of the, white, uh, the leather strap that he has on. So, what I'm going to do is I did the glittering before I realized that he had that strap that I had to mess with. So I'm going to go ahead and continue my my chain that I did out of gold glitter that came out of the tube at one point. Okay, how does that come out? Let's try this one. When I get done here, I gotta go online and order all the, my more glitters. Boy, I go through a lot of glitter. 
So when I'm doing the chain though, I'm I'm doing it one one line. However, I'm stippling it kind of, or I don't know what you call it. Just, I don't want it smooth and straight. And it was a cupcake for a one-year-old that is just out of gold. And you have the top of the cupcake and then you have the bottom where the paper is. Now, it doesn't look like it because anybody that were to look at this would not be able to figure out what he had around his neck. However, the original photographs of him taking on this, should that person want to scrapbook these or do anything with these, these images, she, I know that they look big. She could do it on one page though. I could make this a page of a scrapbook because you already got the picture of him. That's where some of that fell off. And there we go. That one's done. It's there and you can see the, the shiny foils, metals, I would call them in there, the stone. Well, guys, let's see if I can do another one and do it better. I'm thinking what I could do to make it. I don't want it to stick. I wonder if I took, again, if I had my, my, my I don't know if my, my, um, well, what the heck, I'm gonna just try it again. You know, you just gotta keep trying. You know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try heating it from the bottom. Let's see if that works, guys. I just shot off some. Okay, we're gonna have to have a drum roll here, guys. Let's see if it works if I heat from the bottom. I don't want that on my nails. Oh man, I don't want that on my nails. I just got my nails done. Not just, but my nail, ever since I started taking collagen, uh, my nails are growing so fast and my hair is growing out. It was, it, it had come in super curly and uncontrollable and it's, coming out more and more. I'm getting hair that I lost is growing out. So I have all these little ones that stick up. I got my headband on holding them down, but they'll stick up in the air. And I had to start shaving my legs again. I haven't shaved my legs in, I don't know how many years. Um, and I think it's, it's kind of humorous that at my age, I have to worry about that. But I don't know what happened. Must be in the collagen. In the, I don't know what else. Okay, guys, we're going to try this way. See what happens. Oops. It's melting. It's melting, guys. It's melting. Oh, I'm so excited now. Now I can finish these. It did. It melted completely from the bottom. Somebody else was out there thinking, and I just know it, and they're gonna write a message there and thought, and they're gonna say, you should have beaded it from the bottom. And you can't see it there when it's when it, when it it's dry, but it's it's sticky so that you can, um, not necessarily these metals, I've got a whole stack of them because I thought I had to have them. Foil papers that are made for this, I have them in the copper and the silver and the gold and the rose gold and and um, I don't use any of them. So I've got to start using up all the stuff that I had. Oh, there was a, in our neighborhood, there was a, there was an ad posted. A woman's trying to sell stamping up stamps and she's got the, the, piece, the stand for them like I have them. I don't have all the colors, but I have a ton of them and I have a ton of stamps, but I don't do stamping. She was selling all of it. The, the, the rounder was full. She had every color 
and you could tell by looking at it, excellent condition and everything. And I wrote her, and I said, do you still have this? And she said, yes, I do. And then my daughters and, and, um, they're like, you don't need any more of that. You don't, they were going on and on how I didn't need it. And I really don't because I don't use it. But I thought, well, would that be really good for the grandkids? Because I always wanted to get into my stuff. Forgetting though that we made them all their own art room. They still um, want to be in mine. So um, I'm kicking myself because I shouldn't have listened to them. It was $25 for all of it, which is is well worth it in itself. 25 bucks, who big deal. They spend that in a day going to get their Starbucks coffee and and whatever it is that my grandkids always have to have with their Starbucks. They, they get a the juice. I don't know what it is that they get. I, I personally can't stand Starbucks coffee. It's so strong I'm, I have to shave the inside of my nose. Maybe that's from the collagen and I'm blaming it on the coffee. Guys, that was a joke, but I'm really not shaving in my nose. That happens to only men, I believe. I don't think women have hair grow up the nose. However, this collagen, God only knows, I, I could start growing it out my nose and inside my ears and, okay. That one went better, guys. And smash that baby down. Once you rub it down, you can't get it back up. So it's not like it goes on there loosely but it has to be where whatever layers you've got on there have to be touching the the sticky or they won't stay. And as I say that, I'm trying to get some of this off that's not sticking and I got a spot over here that is open for some. Come on, come on, you can do it. I just started a new series of books and the one I'm reading now is The Thorn of Glass. And all of these books that I've been reading are all on um, the eras, like the early 1900s and the castles and the, the, the witchcraft and how the people were crucified or um, hung or whatever if they're traveling or if they were practicing witchcraft and I don't know, but I'm loving them. This is my second series now that I'm on. And I just found out from uh, my daughters and my, all their friends, we all, we, they joined, they um, started a book club and they included me in the book club. And the first book that we were assigned to read, I hated, I didn't like it at all. So we were talking yesterday about going on to get what was the book we wanted to read it next. It's, I'm not really trusting their judgment because that first book sucked, it was awful. But anyway, um, I am really enjoying it because I love that kind of story. And it's like when I used to watch Merlin all the time and Harry Potter, and I love those movies with um, beasts and, and trolls and goblins. And I just like all that. Um, I really get into it. And the 47 coats of, or layers of clothes that would have more back then. Anyway. Um, okay. There we go. And again, I'm not putting it on the same anywhere. And I'm just doing it to give this a little bit of pop. Now, I need to put the strap on him. And I have to go right over my bone that I drew in. I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently I wasn't thinking. That would be the, the correct answer. But, um, because I realized on the necklace and what was hanging on the necklace and knew not to cover that, I didn't, I mean, I didn't pre-embellish it, put the cold down, because I knew this would be cut off. Oh, man. 
There we go. My husband's been making fun of me because every room, and I think I've mentioned this in other videos, every single room in my house, with the exception of the bathrooms, I think, have some piece of equipment in it that I use because I, I have my my workout room down downstairs. I have a room that's specific for that, but my I don't like to be down there by, by myself and I don't like to try and at night do all my workout after I've just taken care of kids and worked my quick flex and everything and then go do a workout. I don't like doing it. I get I get absolutely burnt out. So I like to do it during the day, like when the kids are napping or if they're down there watching a movie. I've got something everywhere. Um, and in the garage, I have a climber. And what I did is we have cabinets out there that we have, use as a pantry for all the kids' snacks when they're out, out from school. And I use my climber and stand on uh, on it so I, I can reach the boxes I put up high so they can't get into them because they would empty them in one day. And my husband always makes fun of me. He said, because that's what I use it for. Well, he doesn't realize that every time I go up there, I take advantage and I, I do a workout on that climber. And um, he, he always says, I can't, you know what, good, you're up there for 30 seconds. I said, no, I stay up here. I'm not looking for things. I'm up here, I got what I wanted and I'm doing my, my workout. Um, which in reality, it isn't that long that I'm on there because the thing is a beast. It, it uh, I haven't quite built up after over a year of this heavy duty. I haven't quite built up the strength to go very long on it. It is, it's a hard one. My daughter got it and, from her husband for Christmas and she, um, it wasn't what? Oh, I didn't do that. She, uh, returned it. I said, I can't believe it. Why'd you return it? She said, no, I didn't like it. But he got her a mirror this year and she said she absolutely loves the mirror, cause, which I probably would like because you're working out with somebody instead of working out by yourself. This looks like Mickey Mouse head, not a bone. Um, because I work out with videos, YouTube videos. I have them all pulled to my desktop. I pull out workouts that I like and I use those. And my daughter-in-law has a Peloton um, and it comes with the videos that you watch while you're biking. Um, and she loves it because you're working out with somebody or you feel like you're with somebody. But if I walked into this house with one more piece of equipment, my husband, I would not need to work out anymore because he would work me over so bad. <laughs> yeah, can't have one more piece. And I also have a new baby that I'm going to start taking care of. My daughter-in-law goes back to work um, in two weeks. And then I will have um, Ellie and PJ. And so I have PJ's that he's thing that he's going to sleep in in my room and I have it closed up laying by the side of underneath the window but where my bed is the side that my bed is on and I tripped in on it this morning getting out of bed because it had kind of tipped and I tripped over it and slammed into my husband's armoire with my ear so I'm waiting to see I haven't looked at it to see it hurts so I guarantee my ear is going to be black as coal I slammed into it really hard. So I, after that happened, I thought, well, this probably wasn't real brilliant of me to put it here in the first place. So I did move it to another place where I'm sure I'm going to trip over it. You know, my, my kids talk about me moving to, they live 10 minutes from me, but they live in a uh, town, a uh, little, little town right outside of the city and and it's real quiet and everything and they want me to move out there and I think well we don't need this big house anymore now that our kids are all gone we could get a condo or something but then I, I don't have any room to put all my crap that would mean I would have to get rid of stuff I'm a pack rat 
I am not a hoarder. I'm a pack rat. There's a big difference. But I have so much stuff for this, for what I do. Oh, unbelievable. And that one's done. That one's done. What do I do with the other one? Over there. Okay. I want to make sure I was doing this right now. I'm going to do one more and then I'll, I'm going to finish these up. They're all already um, glittered. I'm going to put the gold on them. Uh, and I, I had the bone. This is the one that had the bone in the wrap uh, in that on the, this image. Um, the other one didn't have it, so I put it there. But anyway, um, you've seen me do this enough, and, and now I'm going to get really good at it. And I showed you the way not to do it. So that was a lesson for you, and I'm going to call it quits on this. And I will be doing another video on Boss Baby, um, probably tomorrow. Anyway, have a good night, and thank you for watching. If you still are, because I it went off on my watch. You must be. I do believe.